Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'll be showing you a video on how to save or set your save file to read only on Borderlands. Um, what you're going to do is go to my documents, uh, my games, Borderlands pre-sequel folder. You're going to want to come right where I do into the Willow games and click on your profile. Right here, this uh, save file, you want to right click it, properties. Uh, make sure you check the read only. Um, what you're going to do, what this is going to do is basically you can do everything you would normally do in Borderlands when you would press Alt F4 except now you can just save and quit um, I'm basically gonna show you how this works with the grinder um, you're gonna come over here to the grinder just like I do um, put in your weapons to, this is the recipe in order to get a legendary weapon unfortunately I get purples and all these uh, all these attempts but if you use uh, the moonstone on it and add the loon shine you will definitely get a legendary so right here, this is uh, this is me doing it the first time. Save and quit. You're gonna come here to select character. You're gonna select your character, and boom, do it again. You'll still have the same weapons you just ground up. And you'll be able to do this as many times as you want. And when you do end up getting the weapon you want, you're gonna want to go to Claptrap Storage and put it in there. So next time, so when you change the file back to off of read only. Uh, your weapon will still be there. You'll be able to use it with all your other characters. Um, yeah, this is pretty unlucky here. I keep getting the purple off of the legendary recipe. Unfortunately, I didn't have any moonstone. Not sure what I spent it on, but yeah. So, whenever you get a weapon you'd like, you're gonna come right where I do. I'm gonna go up here and put it in this storage. Alright guys, so if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.